The concept behind such an improvised bushcraft bag saw or such a bow saw is that you just have to carry a super light, super small, super cheap saw blade with you. The frame you improvise with branches and sticks you find in the nature. But can such an improvised saw be a serious alternative to a modern pool saw like the Silky? Hello YouTube! Welcome to another comparison video. As soon as you have to cut through a thicker branch or a small trunk, you are quick limited with a Swiss Army knife. Much better is to have a bigger saw. And your Swiss Army knife can be part of the solution to get a bigger saw. In the last 10 years, more and more bushcrafters started to work with such a Japanese style pull saw. And there is no doubt <laughs> this silky, for example, cut like hell. But a professional pool saw is quite expensive and she forgives no mistake. The saw blade is quick, bended or even broken. And I'm sure you have already made this experience. 30 years ago, as I was scout leader here in Switzerland, we built our camps always with this kind of bow saws. Maybe with bigger ones. And I tell you, we had almost low limit in terms of height and size of our buildings. <laughs> and I can't remember that I destroyed just a single one of these saws in my whole life. That's why I like to work with this kind of saws. And the cutting performance is also good. Recently I saw in a hardware store this saw blade for three bucks. And I thought, wow, this is 20 times less than my silky coast. So if you are able to improvise a, 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 a frame, a stable frame, you have for sure a good option for pool saw. Because this kind of sauce has a lot of advantages. But this I tell you after. So let's do a little cutting performance test. I want to compare this improvised bow saw this self-made hacksaw and my silky gomboy before I start the test please keep in mind that this test is not scientifically because I have a lot of different factors for example on the back saw the saw blade is much longer than on the silky and the teeth are much bigger. Here I have fine teeth. So, but nevertheless, I want to give you just an impression, just a feeling how well this different kind of sauce works. And if you ask yourself why he needs, he needs so long to cut through this little branch, <laughs> this is super dry, super hard beech wood. This is not pine. <laughs> Let's start with the boson. This boson is, is quick improvised. That takes 10-15 minutes. The disadvantage is this is actually only a pull saw because if you give, if you give strength on the push motion, this happens. Can you see that? But it works also fine as pulls on. So I have to cut here. Cool. 
So the next saw I want to cut is this self-made back saw. To improvise a back saw, you need much more time and more precision, but you can give a lot more tension on the saw blade, and this allows to give uh, a strength also on the push motion, not just on the pull motion. Normally, this saw works more on the push motion than on the pull motion. So let's try out. So let's go. So now I test the silky. Let's go. Did you expect this result? So let's tell me my thoughts about the pros and contrasts from a self-made improvised saw like this over a pool saw. First of all is for sure the price. In my case this uh, saw blade was 20 times cheaper than the silky. Uh, then for sure white and size super super light super small um, next advantage is for sure that this kind of saw is less prone to bend that the, the saw blade bend or break look at this so you can e you can even store the saw blade in a pen on the lead of the pen or, or you can store it in, in, a, in a belt. So, this is uh, super flexible, nothing happened. Um, another advantage is maybe that you work more ergonomically with, with, uh, with such a saw, because your natural hand position is like this. And if you work with the silky, you have to bend your wrist like this. And uh, maybe the last, the last pro from from such a, a self-made uh, uh, saw is that when the saw blade is dull, I can imagine that it's possible to uh, to uh, regrind with a with a diamond file. But uh, go in the hardware store and buy a new one for three bucks. What are you doing? If your silk is dull, this ge geometry is, is that uh, complicated. I, 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 I can't imagine that you can resharpen your silky. Well, maybe, but I can't imagine. Now to the advantages of, of uh, a pull saw. Uh, I would say in the most sorts of wood, a pull saw uh, is, is more efficient. I don't know, in, in, this, in this case it was different, but uh, this is my experience. Mostly you are more efficient with the pull saw. Another advantage of this kind of pull saws is for sure you need less space for working. If you want to cut through this trunk, for example, you, give, you can give a counter cut from underneath. 
and here is not enough space for a bow saw or a buck saw. Or in a situation like this when you want to cut out this middle branch. So with a silky or not a folding saw you are much more flexible uh, because with a buck saw or with a bow saw you don't have enough space. With such a pull saw you can work much more precise and you are much quicker. That means you have just to open the saw and you can start here. You have to improvise uh, first uh, a frame. Um, another advantage, I don't know. So if you know another advantage of such uh, a pull saw or an improvised saw, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, to my conclusion, if you are a proud craftsman and you like to work with your self-made tools and you have enough time to improvise that, um, this is for sure a super, a super option. Um, and also, if you are far away from the civilization and you can't risk that your saw blade bend or break, this is the better option. But, if you want to be fast like a Ferrari <laughs> and uh, or if you want to work very very precise this is for sure the better option. My aim was to open your eyes for the cheap solution. <laughs> so my friend that's it for today. In the next video I want to show you my secret how to build a super stable buck saw and I want to give you tips and tricks how to build a bow saw. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!